Hey guys, I just wanted to make a, a quick video regarding uh, Bitcoin. Uh, I thought it was quite an impertinent time to sort of bring this up because there's a lot of talk, is Bitcoin dead and uh, you know, will it go back up? And there's a lot of, a lot of talk about speculation and um, I think a lot of people are perhaps overlooking the fundamentals of, of what Bitcoin is and, and what it provides. And um, I thought I'd just do a quick video to, to try and change the topic and, and change people's mindsets as to what are we investing in? Because uh, although it is a speculative market, this decentralized um, like networks that we're, we're currently creating have huge potential to, to change the world. And I think this 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 feature in itself is, is, is will, will keep these systems afloat. So uh, I want to talk a bit more about Bitcoin because Bitcoin, as we know, it's, it's, a, it's a digital currency, but it goes a little bit further than that. But let's firstly talk about what is a, a currency. And a currency has currently four, four major functions. And, and the first is it's a, a medium of exchange. Second, it's a, a store of value. The third is that it's a, a unit of accounts. And, and fourth, and, and most recently, it's, it's become a system of control. Now, to, to explore the system of control, um, that's quite a, quite a scary thing. And we, we've really moved to a, a, a digital society which has been really pressured by an act that was was actually passed in America in, in, in 1970. And I don't really bore you with it too much, but the uh, basically Richard Nixon passed the Banking Secrecy Act, which more or less um, made any transaction in excess of ten thousand dollars done in cash, whether it's a deposit or, or, or whatever, or a purchase, in turn it had to to then be declared and, and tracked and have a reason behind it, which is. Is, is, is sort of help push to this this everything's a, a digital currency in backed in, in in banks and this has uh, really created a, 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 a global surveillance financial surveillance network which is is from the the, the 50 years that have, have preceded this the every financial system every financial service and every bank now pertains to these laws as well so we've got a very centralized industry that uh, or, or, or ruler, I guess, that can, can view these transactions. And based on the, the, the view of this, this, this government or this institute, it, it, they then have the ability to exclude people from a system, which is, is what we see globally. And we, we're currently, as advanced as we, we feel we are in the world, there's, there's currently 2 billion people that are unbanked. There's another 4 billion that are underbanked. There's another 1.5 billion, which is is the people that are probably here now, that are, have have access to these financial systems. And while it's all good and well that we can we can complain about the price, I think we are sort of ignoring the 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 use case of this. Now, technology again is advancing very very quickly, and um, if you look all over the world, there's there's in the farthest reaches of wherever you go, the the, the one common technology that you'll find is it's it's actually the Nokia 3210. And uh, you can find that in the desert. You can find it in the in, in the North Pole. Everywhere you go, you, you'll simply find these phones. And they reckon within three years, um, they'll be able to produce an Android smartphone for a dollar. So this is going to shake things up because for the first time in 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 ever really, it's going to give these countries and especially those, those potentially four billion people that are in in, in, the, in the third world to to actually have access to to global financial systems. And this is the beauty of what Bitcoin is, is, is Bitcoin in its architecture, it's completely neutral. It, uh, it, it, is, it is borderless, it uh, has borderless access, sorry, and it's completely open and, and it's censorship resistant. So this, this gives those people an option to, to opt out of the systems that they're in because people have two fundamental powers when it comes to, to trying to change these systems. And the, the first one is a voice. And there's a lot of great people that are out there in the world that are trying to change the systems from within. And eventually they get there and they realize that it's impossible based on, on, on the, the architecture of how they're designed. And then the second option is, is to exit. And I, I guess previously, until the invention of Bitcoin, exiting has been extremely difficult based on uh, the inability uh, to, 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 to get these systems through borders, through... Um, all forms of, of, of different crippling devices, which which is, has made it near and impossible. So we need to remember that this 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 is a, a, an option outside of a corrupt system, which is enabling you know, 
countries that have, have, have never had the ability to, to participate on these um, global markets, their chance. So I think moving forward, it's really, really important that this is discussed more and that we're, we're highly conscious of, of where we're investing. And we, we understand perhaps the constructs of the decentralized ecosystems that we're supporting because this is more or less creating the, 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 the system for change in the world. And if we, we aren't conscious of where we're investing money, we don't have a, a belief in wanting to change that, then I think it sort of, uh, it, it doesn't provide a, a strong way for these technologies. It'll actually make these technologies advance quite a bit slower. So um, that's really what I want to talk about is to, is to allow a, a discussion outside of the speculation to, to really um, start up again and, and to really uh, have, have a stronger focus on perhaps our, our moral views as to why we invest and but also just to educate as well because it, this is not just a speculative market this is a vessel for change and, and when we start to view it that way the the gains really become secondary which is is you know <laughs> everyone's portfolio has suck at the moment you know I'm in the same spot as well I, you know I lost a lot of money seemingly but it's 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 not really that bad when we look at um, you know, this is we're supporting uh, the, the the new ecosystems, which will then support the change for the rest of the world. So I think we need a, a quick reality check and, and to, to remind ourselves what we're doing and why we're investing. And um, hopefully this will you know spur spur a good discussion, which which we can try and but you know across all different communities in the crypto space, we can we can try to to try and keep it on this this track. So thanks. Cheers.